Our country is dropping weapons on ISIS to use against us daily. Are we making that many mistakes? Do you find that a little hard to believe? And if it is, do you find that a little unnerving? The reason for the drops, according to the legislator, is to prolong the chaotic situation in the Anbar province. In other words, carry the war on and bring more money into the uh, industrial complex. Last week, a video was also released claiming to show a U.S. Chinook helicopter dropping two boxes full of weapons for ISIS by flying at a low altitude in an extremist-controlled area of Fallujah. The footage is said to have been filmed by the Iraqi-based Hezbollah brigades. So, we have proof that this is going on and going on repeatedly. It's a remarkable number of accidents. It says that there are even reports that some U.S. helicopters landed in Fallujah, a main base of ISIS-linked Takfari militants in Iraq. Excuse me. Iraqi lawmakers have urged the governments to open an investigation into the matter. The claims of the U.S. and the U.K. supplying weapons to ISIS extremists have been going on for some time, and there's many links in the article that I'm reading here to prove it. It says that it is certainly evident that the U.S. made weapons have fallen into the hands of ISIS on multiple occasions. We have discovered weapons made by the U.S., European countries, and Israel from the areas liberated from ISIL's control in on the al-Baghdadi region. This says al, al Ahad news website quoted the head of the al Anbar province. So we got all kinds of weapons just dropping into our enemies. It says the U.S. weapons drops for the ISIL on the excuse of not knowing about the whereabouts of the ISIL positions and is trying to distort the reality of the allegations. In other words, they're claiming it's all an accident. Well... I would hope that our military is not prone to making that many arguments. I'm just saying it's insane. All right, I'm going to move on quickly here. Netanyahu tells Congress Iran on March of Conquest, Subjugation, and Terror. It says Iran is playing a deadly game of thrones. Um, I would say so. I think Netanyahu is 110% right here. Iran is building a nuclear power plant on an earthquake zone. Iran has Sunnis and Shiites, both that will take this thing out as a weapon to use against each other. ISIS would love to get their hands on the um, radioactive waste to use, I've got a yellow bar, to use as waste uh, dirty bombs against Israel and the U.S. and anywhere else that they can possibly get it into. It says that's exactly what would happen if the deal being negotiated by Iran. That deal would not prevent Iran developing nuclear weapons. It would all but guarantee that Iran gets those weapons, and lots of them. He said Iran is playing a deadly game of thrones. Um, Republicans invited him to speak, and the Democrats boycotted it. Well, Netanyahu, I hope to say, was completely right. Uh, last thing I want to get to, Iran opposition unveils secret Tehran nuclear site. But they're not doing anything they're not supposed to. An exiled Iranian opposition group Tuesday accused Tehran of running a secret uranium enrichment site close to Tehran, which it said violated ongoing talks with global powers on a nuclear deal. In other words, they are working on the nuclear bomb like we've all said they've been doing. Iran is not over there kissing babies. Despite the Iranian regime's claims that all of its enrichment activities are transparent, it has, in fact, been engaged in research and development with advanced centrifuges and a secret nuclear site called Lazaran-3, said uh, Jaffa Zeda, a deputy director of the National Council of Resistance in Iran. In other words, they've got these centrifuges that they are using to enrich uranium to use as a bomb, and then they're appealing to the uh, PS5 plus 1 group of Britain, China, France, Russia, U.S., and Germany to be allowed to continue this, which is ridiculous. Friends, you're listening to The Correct View. Sam I.B. DeGangie reporting for the Media Speaks and signing off. Uh, look up the work of Kyle Court, D. Lake, and myself, and please donate if you can at The Correct Views at Hotmail.com, brought to you by Sticker Junkie.